Yo, what's up guys? It's Wizard Joe from Hawk Talk. And Halloween is right around the corner, so I thought it'd be best to show you guys some magic tricks. Let's go. Uh, do you want to see a magic trick, Lance? Yeah, dude, I do. Okay. Okay, Lance, I have a dime and a penny, okay? Yeah. What I want you to do is you hold out your hand like this. Close your hand as hard as you can, make sure I don't get to it. Right. Choose the penny or the dime. <laughs> Open your hand. No way! <laughs> Dime. The dime. I'm gonna try to. I'm gonna make the dime disappear. Watch. <laughs> Wait. I'm trying to read your mind really quick. I'm gonna go through these cards like this, and then you tell me to stop, and that'll be your card, okay? okay. Stop. Right here. Yeah. Sure. Yeah. Remember it. I'm not gonna know. One, two. What's it? The two. Two. So if it's red or black, it was probably red because you looked up. Hearts or dime. It's a two of hearts. What? How did you know? I have an Oreo right here. What's really cool is if you... Just like that, it comes back. And just tell me when to stop and that'll be your stop, card, okay? Stop. Right here? Yeah. Okay. Remember? Oh, yeah, yeah. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine. It's an eight. What? A black or red card? Black. You looked away on black, so it's a black card. <laughs> Club or spit? Space. <laughs> Remember it? One, two, three. It's an ace. Black, red. So it's a black card. This is the ace of clubs. <laughs> okay, guys, that's all the magic for this week, but on to the magic of Hawk Talk. Good morning, Haunted Hawks. It's October 25th, 2018. I'm Mallory Dirks. And I'm Jolie Schwartz. And welcome back to another trick or treating, candy eating, costume wearing episode of Hawk, Hawk Talk. Talk. You know, Mallory, most kids our age don't even go trick or treating anymore. I know, right? They usually just sit at home and watch horror movies. Well, this next story is about a man who watches monster movies year round. Take a look. My mom was in the kitchen, and I was in the room, and the TV was on, and this thing called Godzilla came on. I was petrified, and I thought it was really happening. From then on, I've just been absolutely fascinated with monsters and characters and dragons and fantasy and sci-fi and everything cool. This Halloween season, you might want to take a trip to one of our local haunts. This monster memorabilia shop, Monsters in Motion, is located on Orangethorpe and Melrose. There was hardly anybody doing this, and people were asking me, where can I get this stuff? So, you know, the more they asked, the more it grew into a store. One-stop sci-fi monster horror shop. The shop has been visited by the likes of famous film directors, such as Peter Jackson and Guillermo del Toro. Well, I think uh, definitely, you know, look to the past and for everything. Music, arts, filmmaking. There's a whole new generation of fans, and we're gearing up for that, but we're, we're not forgetting the past either. Monsters in Motion is open to the public Wednesdays through Saturdays, but their online store is open 24-7. Mallory, what's worse than being a five-ton witch on Halloween? What? Her broom. Oh my god. Okay, <laughs> next one, next one. What's a mummy's favorite type of music? What? Rap music. Oh my. Okay, last one, last one, last one. I got this one. No, no, okay. no, no, no. Here are some extra announcements. Team tryouts for a Hawks League of Legends team will be held on Thursday from 3 to 6 p.m. and again on Saturday, the 27th from 1 to 4 p.m. in room 903. See Mr. Block if interested. Creative Writing Club. Our first meeting will be today at lunch in room 207. Everyone is welcome. Sign-ups for the dodgeball tournament are officially over. The tournament begins November 5th and will go through the 16th. Brackets will be announced next week, so stay tuned to be contacted about your team. There will be an egghead meeting tomorrow at lunch. Be there or be scrambled. Anyone interested in trying out for the boys' golf team, please come to a mandatory meeting today at lunch in room 510. There will be information regarding athletic clearance and tryout dates. 
Future Lawyer Club, there's a meeting Friday at lunch in room 307. Science Olympiad, there's a full team meeting on Friday at lunch in room 901. Do you need community service? The National Association for the Education of Children and Youth Conference is in Anaheim at the Anaheim Hilton on October 27th and 28th. If interested, go to the link in the description. French Club, there's a meeting on Monday at lunch in room 406. Come find out if the French celebrate Halloween. Remember tomorrow's crazy black and gold dress up. Hey Julie, what's up? You know, Halloween isn't the only time for haunts here at Eldo. What do you mean? Well, some students have noticed some peculiar things in classrooms. Let's go to Ethan Lee to check some out. It was a day like any other. First, second, third period went by, nothing special. But then fourth period. At first I thought it was a prank, but it kept happening. Every professional said that it wasn't technically possible. I think my projector is haunted. I first came across this case when Miss Simmons explained it to my class. I have her for fourth period, so I've witnessed the paranormal activity of the projector. Me and Ava went to visit Miss Simmons to get some more intel. Yes. So there's the projector. It was making a really loud screeching noise earlier, but obviously it's not right now. Okay, so I have a, a paranormal scanner, and what it does is it detects wavelengths of paranormal activity. And as you can see, now we're getting some pretty crazy wavelengths of paranormal activity. Yeah, except that's a microphone and that's your voice. With this shocking discovery, we had to investigate. Okay. Um, okay. Is it rolling? Yeah. Okay, so we're staying in Miss Simmons' room overnight to see if anything happens with the projector. Whoa, did you see that? What? The projector just turned on. Did you turn it on? No, did you? No. Um, what's, what's going on? Do you, do you hear that noise? Um. <laughs> Whoa. Uh, so we learned that if you just unplug and replug your projector again, it should be working just fine now. Thank you, that has been bugging me so much. Ooh, that last segment really gave me the chills. If I were there, I would have run right out of that classroom. Oh yeah, and speaking of classroom, next week on Hawk Talk, we're going to be collecting donations in your second period classes to help one student who's been affected by cancer. Donations? That's spectacular! Oh my gosh, I bet you I can collect more donations than you. I'll race ya. <laughs> okay, well while Mallory and I are racing, let's head on over to Aaron with Jock, Jock Talk. Talk. I'm Aaron Blakely, and thank you for tuning in to another episode of Jock Talk. Our girls volleyball team came out strong at the beginning of the CIF run at Ventura last Thursday and came out with the win with a score of 3-0. to zero. Our girls also played Allison McGill but unfortunately lost in the second round 3-1. to one. Congrats on a great season ladies. Last Friday was our senior night at Bradford Stadium against Esperanza. Our Golden Hawks came out with an outstanding score of 49-14. The team goes up against Foothill today for a chance of winning league. Our boys water polo team played Brayalinda last Tuesday but unfortunately lost a close game 7-8. This was their last game of the regular season and this marks the beginning of their CIF run. Good luck boys. Last week our eSports team played against Woodbridge and won with a score of 2-1. They are 2-0 this season and ranked number 2 out of 40 schools. They play University on Friday. Good luck to our Lady Hawks tennis team as they head into the league finals today. Last Friday our cross country team competed at the 71st annual Mount Sac Cross Country Invitational. Please congratulate all the dedicated cross country Hawks for their great performance at Mount Sac Invitational. Next up, the cross country team will compete in the Century League Finals at Yorba Regional Park. Thank you for watching another episode of Jock Talk. Catch you next week for some more sports updates. Thank you for tuning in to another chilling episode of Hawk Talk. I'm Mallory Dirks. And I'm Julie Schwartz. I hope all you hawks out there have a spooky but safe Halloween. See you next week.